Are we ready, everybody? To start a new season of Navy football? We visit Buffalo in week number one. Uh, we are significantly better than them on paper, which scares the crap out of me. <laughs> Because it means we should win with little trouble. But if you have seen me play this game once ever, you will know that isn't often the case of how these things play out. Look at their Detroit lion ass uniforms. We'll put them in the all blue. That's fine. Because we'll wear the bill the goats. Beautiful. Oh, we're not menu seven. We're not menu simming. Well, actually, in fairness. Nah, we're not menu simming. Some of these games I can't afford to lose. <laughs> I, I need to try to save the day if possible. Um, because we if we get fired again, we're boned. So, not going to happen. We got to play it safe. But hopefully we get quite a few no-touching victories this season and we don't have to do much. Welcome to the Buffalo parking lot. So we're ready to go at the University of Buffalo Stadium. There are a couple of, you know, like the pegs that you have when you play the game of life that symbolize, like, oh, you put the peg in the car. I have a son now. That's what the crowd looks like in this game. All right. We'll call heads. Heads never fails, as the old saying goes. Case in point. As we will get the ball. Shout out to Ash Ketchum, who was out there as a potential captain. And shout out to that track that uh, is not getting along with the emulator and the updated stadium graphics. Good God. Again, this mod's tremendous for updating like modern looks and stuff like that. Um, sometimes, though, some of the outside assets freak the hell out. Someone just played soccer at this field. It's brutal. I believe it. Oh my god. Speaking of brutal. We almost... We still might blow it. Well, it is a no-touching victory, but it wasn't the most... Uh, wasn't the most convincing. 28-21. As Navy wins their opening game of the season. We were outscored 21-7. In the second half, ahoy matey, rumbling bumbling with that missile. And then uh, good old John Paul Jones with the two-yard run, but that um, that wasn't great. First career start for JPJ, 14 of 24, 191 yards, two touchdowns, wasn't sacked once, had 83 yards on the ground with a touchdown. Ahoy matey had 86 yards with a touchdown. And then, of course, the big receptions. We live and die on the play action. So, again, not the most convincing win. But as they say, a win is a win is a win is a win. And they don't ask how, unless you're going for the national title, which we're not. So they don't ask how. They ask how many. And that's one W in the books and an upgrade point for White Fat Rock at head coach. And that is going to be a very useful upgrade point because we are going to give ourselves more points in the next couple of weeks to continue to try and make that push for those five stars. You could say do it in the back half, but for me, it has to be right now. And that'll allow us to go back to recruitment right now and assign those extra points. So... That is where we are at. And uh, again, we're down to 15 players left. So we should bump everybody up here a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And if we could get even one of these guys, I would deem this as worth a shot to Gary the Snail, or should I say Meow. Welcome in. And there we go. 400 points apiece. <sighs> okay. Big moment here coming up in uh, week number three. And yeah, we play Wyoming, who we have seen look terrible moving forward. So it should be another win. Should be. Fingers crossed. 
You never know with this freaking team. They will always find a way to blow it. Is, uh... Oh, man, it's what they do. Or at least they try. They threaten, right? They threaten. All right, are we going to be out for these other five stars? That is the question. Where are we going to be? Where are we going to be in the race for these guys? At quarterback, 600 back for Tyler and for Johnson. Not ideal, but we're not giving up yet. Running backs, we are in the lead for Tim Shaw. And in the lead for Doug Taylor. Hey. Wide out. In the lead for Dustin Davis. <sighs> Probably not out dueling Alabama for Tim McCarty, but we'll try. Again, nobody here. It's just all athletes, isn't it? <laughs> From there. Hill, we're in the lead. Wesley Rush, it's a long shot, especially he's from Ohio, and Ohio State's in there for him. In the lead for Chris Holland. We are out for Wallace Jackson. AJ Johnson, we're in the lead. James Smith, it's looking like a long shot. Josh Green, we're okay. In the lead for Kerry Britt. Long shot for Kenneth Jones, but that is only one player off the board. On a week-to-week -week basis. Not bad. Not bad at all, as we will just divvy up the points here, as we do. In fairness, I could do the math, and it would save me uh, some time here. But, and Wesley Rush, it's not looking good. Let's go to 425. Pretty much for everybody that we can until we run out of points. So, what do we got? Still a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. In fairness, we could have gone higher than that. This is why I normally do the math, so I take out the guesswork. Uh, Wesley Rush will get the extra points to try and make up ground for the highest rated dude on our board that's remaining. So we focus now on gameplay. We are better than Wyoming on paper. Lee Corso is choosing us to get the win in our second game of the season, and Jesus, shouldn't we? I like the uh, I like the color scheme for Wyoming. They don't have too many jersey options, but uh, very San Diego Padres. They had white pants, didn't they? Yellow pants, brown and yellow. So we'll probably want to avoid a good amount of yellow. Uh, we'll, we'll rock the old Bill of the Goats again. They worked out well in week one. And again, hopefully it's another no-touching victory. I love that graphic of Joe Milton, too. The football looks like uh, NFL Blitz <laughs> on the uh, on the Dreamcast. The goat game. Absolute goat game. All right. We barely snuck past Buffalo. And we uh, have a little bit more of a convincing showing against Wyoming. Yeehaw, Cowboys. They're not really liking those flags too much. Ooh, the War Memorial State. Honestly, I, I like the look for Wyoming. I do. The end zones and everything. I like it. Too bad, you know, too bad we're going to have to beat the brakes off of them. But, you know, that's okay. That is okay. Here we go, gentlemen. Make it another no-touching victory. I don't want to have to touch this controller again until we have secured victory. It's 7-3 to three through the first 10 minutes. That's not great. That's not great. We are okay. We were losing briefly. 1910. Last time Wyoming was good at football. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, come on. Score again, please. Oh, boy. Jackal, what's going on? Okay. They have the ball with six minutes left. They missed a 30 yard field goal. Whew. Please, please win. Oh God, 123 left. 
123 left, and we're only up by five. Jesus Christ. It's Wyoming! <laughs> no! Oh, they got the lefty. They got the lefty. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. How did he not catch that? Oh, my God. From their own 24 yard line. Well, it's second, second and 10. This is outrageous. Ready, <laughs> Throw again. Oh, he's going down. Didn't go down by the first guy, but he went down. Down goes Benny James. South. <laughs> the fucking physics. Woo. Dude, they're 11 of 24 on third down. Jesus Christ. We have not done a good job of keeping possession. 52 seconds left. They have no timeouts. They need a touchdown. And our defense hold on. Benny looking over the middle to the turf. Was that a fucking bouncy ball? <laughs> Did you fucking see that ball? What is going on in Wyoming? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it bounces at the 35 and ends up almost at the opposing 35. This fourth quarter. Jesus. And it's the offense. End the game, gentlemen, right here. I want this to technically be a no touching. I haven't had to do anything with the gameplay. We've just watched. Somehow we've had. Oh my God! They ran. Oh, Bill Belichick would be so proud of you. Navy is going to get another incredibly unconvincing victory. Twenty-two to seventeen over Buffalo. Or not? Uh, well, yeah, 20, uh, over Wyoming, I should say, beating Buffalo the prior week. You, you see what happened? I got the wires crossed. It happens. I'm getting old. Uh, barely beating Buffalo, barely beating Wyoming. Oh my God, that was insane. We are 2-0 on the season. Big shout out to Carnat Titan, 33 months on the primer. Carnat, thank you very much for that. You know what, screw it a little bit. Hey, hey you, yeah you. Make, make sure you're following the channel already. And if you really like what we're doing here, and you have Amazon Prime, you get that nifty little Prime sub available. It's free with the cost of the Prime subscription, which means it's not free. But who better? Uh, there's a lot of people better, probably. But hey, I'd appreciate it if you used it. With that said, let's take a look at the scoring summary yet again, because, uh, yeah, we were held to three points in the second half by Wyoming. I don't think we're going to win anything until we do our fullback had a 90 yard touchdown run. I don't think we're going to win anything unless I change out of this freaking uh, Navy playbook. I don't think we are. Okay. You know what? Let's not blame the playbook. The sophomore technically first year starter, John Paul Jones, nine of 27. For 165 yards, no touchdowns, two picks, and was sacked six times. I don't need to see any other stats. We won, and it's fine. We won, and it's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything will be fine. <laughs> it might not be. We are 2-0 for the moment. Frankie, what's up, man? We move ahead. Week number four. UAB is up next. The Panthers are calling. They want John Paul Jones. He'll fit in well. He'll fit in well. Uh, they'll get an owner who can throw drinks at fans, and, you know, it'll just be a great time across the board. It's a great way to stay in shape. All right. The University. Imagine if it was like the University of Alberta. Bedminton. But it's not. It's Alabama. Uh, we had an NCAA Player of the Week. It certainly wasn't our quarterback. My God. 
And UAB is next. Now, quickly recruiting. Where do we stand? At quarterback, we are 800 points back on Jesse Tyler and 700 points back on Rod Johnson. We're not giving up yet. We should, but we're not. We're in the lead for Tim Shaw. We're in the lead for Doug Taylor. We're in the lead for Dustin Davis. We are out on Tim McCarty as expected. We skip all the way ahead to the athletes. Xavier Hill, we are in first. We are out on Wesley Rush. Leading for Chris Holland. Leading for AJ Johnson. Out on James Smith. Still in it for Josh Green, but not really. Big lead for Carrie Britt. And out on Kenny Jones. We are down to 10. Nighthawk, what's up, man? We are down to 10. Now, we have a quarterback, a wide receiver, two running backs, and another quarterback. I have not even looked at these athletes in terms of where they should be playing. Chris Holland, what even are you? You are not a quarterback, that is for sure. Holy shit, he is a goat in terms of playing in the secondary. Jesus, like he could be a decent wideout. That guy is the GOAT safety. Six foot one, 184. That'd be a big defensive pickup. AJ Johnson is 6'6, 209. Let's look at him really quickly. 93 carrying, 79 catching. Pretty straightforward. Wide receiver or running back. Although technically, he could be built up for the secondary, but it would have to be safety. Maybe linebacker because of his ridiculous size and play recognition. Probably be looking at linebacker, if not wide out or running back. Josh Green could be a quarterback, could be a wide out, could be a running back. He is definitely more of an offensive talent is Josh Green. Kerry Britt. What again, secondary wide outs. Wouldn't even say running back. It is secondary or wide out. People are shouting out Brit at tight end. That's fair too. Oh, you mean Johnson? Yeah, Johnson at tight end would work too. That's fair. That is fair. Yeah, Britt was looking good. And then the last one, Xavier Hill. Again, uh probably not a wide out. Secondary. Secondary, maybe running back. So the vast majority of these athletes have a really good shot of being defensive players, which is a really good thing for us, actually. So I'm not complaining about that at all. John, John, how the hell are you? Um, basic math here, 600 points per person. Now that we are down to 10. Uh, however, the max is 500, which means uh, we can start looking at some of the four stars who are interested in us and start recruiting them a little bit. So let's take a look at dudes who are interested. We know these five stars are out. You know, these are all guys that we would have had before. So we are looking now exclusively at four stars that were interested in us. And we can just add all of those four stars who were interested. And then we can go back to three stars a little bit later on. So let's take a look at the new boys here. We have an athlete, David Myers. We are out. You know, he was interested before. He's not interested now. And that might be a common theme. Josh Kane at tight end. Hopefully we get the other guy now. But we're definitely out on him. Definitely out on Roy Marshall. A lot of these guys are going to feel... Uh, betrayed, basically. Um, I'd rather... Again, we could have locked down these guys and have maybe been in the conversation for one or two of these five stars. I'd rather be in the conversation, you know, conversation for almost ten of the five stars. Um, we are out on everybody so far out of the four stars. Except for Mark Mills at quarterback, who we looked at before. We can try to get into that conversation. We're out on Travis Henry. 
The Cox is an outside chance. We're out on Jared Brewer. We're out on Matthew Patterson. And Cedric Alston, there is technically a chance. So we'll see if the risk pays off. All of the four stars are under a 70 overall, which isn't great. Um, we can't quite max out the points. Um, but we are just going to stay with these guys to get max points on them right now. Uh, at least the max points that are left over, which is 250 apiece instead of looking at three stars. So in the conversation, we're going for home runs. Quality over quantity. UAB. Have a decent rating, but again, we looked at their team prior to the season and it didn't appear to be that strong. Actually, wait, no, we didn't even schedule UAB, right? They were mandatory. Never mind. That would explain why I'm caught off guard by the fact that we have to play a team that's that good because it's a home game. They're better, man. I know it says 84 apiece, but they are the better team. So we head to Alabama, the University of Alabama, Birmingham. Oh my God, the Children's Hospital jerseys are sick. I mean, granted, they look like Pro Bowl jerseys, but those are pretty sick. What's happened? Where are those? But the children. Uh, which means we need to wear some uh, some brighter colors here. It's giving me away jerseys. It is a bit of a dark gray. We do. I mean, that should be fine. That'll, that'll this thing. This might end up being a weird jersey matchup, but let's try it. Let's try it. Good old Blake Corum going into the draft. Emperor, what's going on, my man? Is it actually Alabama? Yes. University of Alabama, Birmingham. Birmingham. All right. Hi, everybody. Davis Here we go. First home game of the season for the hopefully no longer mid shipman you alabama Indeed. all right they call heads and they win the toss because heads never fails baby big game to see if we're actually legit we know the answer to that though <laughs> we already know the answer to that don't wait does nick sirianni get fired yes 3-3, three, 10-3, three, ten, three. oh God, oh God, 10-10, 17-10, 17-17, 10, 17-17, 10. 17, 10. 17, 17. 24 to 17, 24 to 20, 27 to 24, 27 to 27, 34, 27, no touching, no touching, some touching, fuck. Third and two with 121 to go. <sighs> Have I reached the threshold where I'm no longer going to play? And I don't think I have. I'm going to take over here. That threshold's when we're national title contenders. I'm not going to play and I'm going to let it be. For now, though, we're going to have some fun, I hope, and try to get this by God first down. Third and a couple. On the 11 of 20 on third down. Oh, my God. All right. Ura in the backfield. On the draw. Ura first down. Okay. We have three timeouts. We got to get in the field goal range. I don't know how good our kicker is at this point. But we'll see. This one might work out pretty well here for Mr. Bumbling. Or not, nobody blocked. Let's let the clock run a little bit. Absolutely nobody blocked. Shit. Well, time to throw the ball. Time to see if old John Paul Jones can throw a football. There is nothing there. Run, John! Run, Johnny! Okay, do we got to use the timeout? No, we got out of bounds. Okay, John can run. Thank God. Thank God. Clock's not ticking. We still got our timeouts. Just got to get the right play calls in there. 
Run, John! To A! Oh my god, what a throw! John Boy. John! Oh, what a throw! What a throw! Now we just gotta center the ball. Except my stream has died for some reason. Sweet. And we're back. A throw so good, he nearly broke the stream. Shout out to Twitch. Christ. Okay. We just got to get this ball centered as best we can. Bumbling. Bumbling, attaboy. That one dude got blown the fuck up. Okay. Lined it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, timeout. White Fat Rock, the legend. It's a 23 yard chip shot. 50% chance that this ice attempt fails. Can we survive to move the team to 3 and 0? The kick is good. Navy are three and O. Oh. Did what I had to do. Like I said, once we're a national title contender, I'm going to start watching the AI play things out a little bit more. Although, again, this game makes it a bit of a pain in the ass to play things out. Um, but for now... We're still trying to help ourselves out. John Paul Jones, player of the game. That's going to do it for this presentation. After a horrible performance in Wyoming. What a fucking win against UAB. <laughs> Buffalo, Wyoming, and UAB. Navy is cruising. Absolutely cruising. You love to see it. Absolutely tremendous. 3-0. Looking good. Let's ignore the fact that we were outscored 20, or that we outscored them 20-10 in the second half, and, and, you know, it was close there for a while, and, you know, we couldn't hold on to a goddamn lead to save our lives or anything like that. We can, we can ignore that. It's fine. They don't ask how. They just ask, did you win? Uh, JPJ still leaves a bit to be desired on the completion, you know, front and that side of things, but got the ura as well, the running game, old rumbling, bumbling, doing well. Seven and six break tackles, respectively, not bad. And five receptions for Doby Fuggin with two touchdowns. Old rumbling, bumbling. He's been crushing it, huh? Got the David. David, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. How the heck are you? You're an Eagles fan. My condolences. Whew. Feels like it might be uh, somewhat unethical to cheer after beating a team that has the name of Uniform Children's Hospital. I agree, Top Hat. Fuck them kids. I'm here to win football games. And up comes the biggest game of the season that, again, isn't at the end of the season. It's week number five because we changed up conferences. It's just what happened. But it's Army who uh, typically kick our ass, our collective ass. Uh, we'll see if that happens again here. Hopefully not. This is the this is the time to see that change. In the words of the late, great Owen Hart, enough is enough. And it's time for a change. So with that, Army's 1-2 and two on the season. We'll focus on them in a minute. Right now, our focus is on the board. Somebody commit to a school because we are down points. Now, Xavier Hill, we are in the lead. Dustin Davis, we are in the lead. Chris Holland, we have a big lead. Jesse Tyler, we are officially going to give up, and it looks like he's going to Minnesota. We have Tim Shaw, big lead. Big, big lead. AJ Johnson, big lead. Josh Green, we're out. Carrie Britt, big lead. And the final five star, Rod Johnson, it's a long shot at this point. And actually, the other final five star, it's actually Doug Taylor, who we have a big lead for. 
In terms of the four stars that we are late to the party with, Cedric Alston, we're in first for him. Uh, the other two are not yet convinced. We will max out the points. It does leave space to start to talk to some of the three stars that might still be interested uh, even if that is less than ideal, that is just kind of where we're at based off of what we've done with scouting this season. And a matter of fact, we should go by lock percentage. Although, why go for three stars when we could join the conversation for some of the four stars that are still out there, right? I mean, unless the three stars are good. Let's take a look. So we're quarterback. 20% is going to be our cutoff again. Although Mark Williams is interested at 21. Damn. Who's interested? Out of the three stars, Ryan Davis, Nick Carter. I mean, in terms of commit percentage, there's no shot. Lawrence Harrison, Mark Williams, and Donovan Lumpkin. I still think we should just go for the best of the best. I think we should. I think we should. Again, we don't need anything specific. Let's just go for the best of the best. So in terms of lock percentage, I do think we can look for people who aren't wide receivers at this point, right? I agree that we can start to look for other positions that might have been a bit weaker. Um, that dude's also shaping up to be a wide at our running back. What about Roger Fordenall? Quarterback. Does have good pursuit. He could be in the secondary. Probably not a linebacker, though, or a defensive lineman. Let's add Joseph Parker. Winooski, Vermont. Joseph Parker. Bobby Griffin. A carrying, route running. Decent in the secondary. Not really what we're looking for. Uh, Anthony Smith. Again, not really what we're looking for right now. Nick Ward. Not really what we're looking for. Bunch of wideouts. Defensive end, Courtney White. Jerome Wesley. A defensive tackle and Charles Anderson. What else do we have for four stars in terms of interest? Running back, quarterback, anybody else. There won't be at 17%. We got to go down to the 18s. See who is left. Again, there are three stars that are interested in us, but we're aiming higher than that. Um, we got another defensive end, Stanley Davis. Running back, we don't need. Aaron Johnson as an athlete. Decent tackle and pursuit. Decent power, finesse moves. He could be a linebacker. Get Aaron Johnson in there. Get on the 19. Varg, thank you for the one bit. Just throwing a penny right at my face. Appreciate it. Let's see. Four stars at 19%. It's just the running back. And then 20%. What do we got? There we go. So 20% just the wide out Daniel Jackson. So let's focus on the four stars that we might still be able to make an impact with here. Let's see, we got Varg. 52 months on the primer. What a man. What a man. Can I could I play hot hot cross buns on the recorder? You're damn right I could. Not well, but I could play it. At least I had to learn how. Let's see, Courtney White will offer that scholarship too as a bust at a 65. We do still want to scout everybody here just to see top priority. Oop, Stanley Davis. Good. Here's two pennies. <laughs> Thanks again, Varg. Okay. So a couple of these four stars certainly are bad. Um... We have 1,400 points left. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Divide that by nine is about 155 points per person here. 
155 points. So again, we're not going to fight as hard for the four stars as the five stars, but most of the four stars, we're still waiting to see if we can even make any headway here. Um, and the highest rated dude was Joseph Parker. He'll get those extra five points. So that is our setup right now in terms of scouting. Recruitment, should I say. I mean, it's the same damn thing. That brings us to the big one. Army and Navy. We are 3-0. We are Lee Corso's choice. These two teams, dead even. As we head to neutral ground, the home of champions, Lincoln Financial Field. I mean, we got to put them in the Tropic Lightning, right? We got to do it. We're going right back to the Bill of the Goats. Big... Big game. We survived a scare against, well, all three teams so far. We beat UAB, which was the first team we were looking at that was worrisome and concerning. Now here is our chance. I think we've only beaten Army once. Maybe we haven't beaten them at all. Today needs to be that day. It needs to be. We can do this. Got to bring the thunder. Nine months. It's a boy. And his name is Port Starboard. It's not the weirdest thing people would fucking name their kids right about now. Currently 0-3 against Army. Great. Great. Here we go. It's an amazing opportunity to prove yourselves, gentlemen. Your biggest test yet. We're talking an Andrew Martin level test. Up 7 0. 10 7. 10 6. 13 10. 20 to 10. Fuck. Shit. Oh, God. Score points. No! Well, we're gonna have to jump in. We're down 20 to 10 with eight minutes to go, and they have the ball. No, we have the ball. I don't trust I don't trust them to score on their own at this point. Here we go. Well, it's gonna take another friggin' comeback effort against Army. Because of course it is. Oh, I just couldn't get to the outside with Bumbling. Pick up a three, though. <sighs> you have to find a way to get past Army. Oh, John Paul! Let's go! 22-yard gain. We played the option perfectly. God damn, the weather effects on the jerseys look insane. It looks so good. Here we go. Let's take our shot. Play action. He's not quite there. John Paul. I could have tried to throw to B, but play it safe for now. Plenty of time. I mean, we need at least a field goal on this drive, so... We're okay. I don't like that. Now he tries to buy some time. A is there, but so is John Paul. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a not afraid to utilize his maneuverability. I don't know if he'll still be in. He is stamina wise, okay. I don't really like this. Jones fakes a handoff. Fire. Ahoy, matey! Gets the first down. We were really trying to see if that one shot was there. Downfield, it still wasn't. John Paul had not had a good game prior to us taking over. I don't like that either. Continue to freak them out. Oh God! That friggin' hurry up, man! 
We got lucky. We got lucky. It's a crazy speed up effect. He makes it to the 25 yard line. Only two for a Hoy matey. Third and eight. We'd love a touchdown here, but if it's a field goal, then so be it. They need to get it to the 17. Play action again, see if we can get him to bite. He's on the run. Big what a catch, William Henry Harrison! I thought we blew it because it was a throw on the run from Jones. And every time he makes a catch, there's a chance. I thought for sure that was getting picked, Mr. President. With a gigantic play. It's first and goal. Oh shit. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their Gotta look for I can't swim on the outside. He can't swim, but he can score. Touchdown, Navy. That a boy, laddies. Whew. Pretty uh, awkward throw there from Mr. Jones, but. It worked out, and we have life, thank God. Can we finally fucking beat Army, please? Please. This Florida Atlantic kicked the crap out of North Texas. It's now on the defense. Kevin Von Erich, the kickoff. He's to the 20. And he's tackled the 25. Take that. Whew. Okay, 538 to go, plenty of time. I do not know if they have a quarterback that likes to take off. A little bit scary. We're going to put Gump in the spy on this one. And we're just going to move Sal over early. It gives it away, but... Let's go! Mmm, big first play, Russ Shanspy. We sent the corner. And nobody picked him up. Big play by Shanspy. Second and long. Ball on their own 20. Oof. Didn't really get a look at whether or not the QB would take off. We got Barry Cade and a spy here. Lama's trying to break through. Nearly intercepted! It would have been a pick six for Ash Ketchum. Not living up to his namesake on that. That would have been incredible. I mean, you want to say it's because of the rain, maybe. Lamas falls on his face. They go for the check down. And it's a three and out for Army. Tremendous work by the defense. Nearly with the pick six. Oh, I can't believe Ash dropped that. That's a heartbreaker. All right. Our return man, Mr. President William Henry Harrison. Inside the 35. What a performance late in the game for El Presidente. All right. Well, now we're in a really interesting spot here, aren't we? Pitch to the outside. Hoorah. Only gets three. From the 28-yard okay. line. Gotta be careful here, because I don't even really know if we're in field goal range. You would think. Might have a chance here. We might. Let's see if we can catch him. Steps up at the 23. Oh, Hoy Mady at least got the two. I thought they were going to have... There might have been somebody open on the left side of the field. I didn't have time to look. It looked like they had a guy break through the O-line. Oh, Hoy Mady can't get there. Fourth and one. 40-yard field goal. 
We're going for it. We are going for it. And it's the offense that takes the field on four. Looking to hand it off to Rumbling Bumbling. He's taken down. He didn't get there. Army takes over. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still I didn't feel confident. Our, we know our kicker is not amazing. Army take over. And now all of a sudden that dropped pick 6 is looking that much worse. As we failed to score. Again, I don't think we would have been able to hit that kick. Big tackle there. It's third and inches. Defense in their short yardage package. And we're not jumping, buddy. They won the battle on the line. Drive continues. Still a little bit surprised that fullback sneak didn't work. Not necessarily a fullback sneak, but you get the point. I'm pretty surprised we didn't break through. Fuck. Should we have gone for it in a different way? Spread offense. Felt pretty confident in it, but our roll line just didn't hold up. We're not done yet, though. That doesn't help. What should have been maybe two or three turns into seven. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Second down. Fuck. We're in a bit of trouble now. Doesn't look like. That's a first. I know what he can do catching the football, but man, oh man, he's trying to get in line to say, hey, I want to carry the football. He's trying to put that failure to get that first down might haunt us for a while. Just under two minutes in the game. That might haunt us for a really long time. And it looks like they might be bringing some pressure here. Big play there. We'll take a timeout. That's their second of the half. That brings up second and thirteen. It's second and thirteen. Ball on their own forty-two. I just thought for sure our fullback was going to get in. I had the utmost confidence. Nice run there, Navy's. Third and eight. The question is, do they run it to wind down the clock, or do they throw it? We have to play it as if they're going to throw it. Because if they get the first down, this game is definitely done and dusted. There's no way that was a first! There's no way! Can I challenge? There's no way he got there. There's no way. That better be booth reviewed. Where's the line? Dude, they don't have any markers down on the field. If, there, if it was the 45. I better still be able to challenge. 
Coach's challenge zero. Might be because I looked at the replay. Well. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Yep, that's not going to be reviewed. Under a minute left. They're running another play. I don't know why. They'll bring him down. And of course, nobody can strip the ball. Why would they be able to? We got fucked out of this game, man. We did. Like, say what you want about the fucking fullback handoff, but we should have had a pick six that was dropped, and now they're going to take a knee. <sighs> First loss of the season, and of course, it's to Army again. <sighs> it's the 11th play of the drive. A great stop to get the ball back. We get stopped on fourth and one. And then we just couldn't get another stop to get the ball back. We lose to Army again. And it comes down to a dropped interception that would have had us leading 24-20 on that last drive. Not a great game for John Paul Jones. Was our leading rusher, though. I mean, flippity-flop every season's goal is to go undefeated, but I don't think that drop is going to be in the highlights, unfortunately. I mean, again, we have like a half decent kicker, but I don't know if he would have hit a 40 yard in the rain. The wind wasn't too crazy, but. So it was what, right here, I think? No replay available. Yeah, I can't watch the play again. Well, the thing was, you know, if, if we miss that kick, then it'd be like, well, you should have gone for it. So we went aggressive. Didn't work. And uh, Ash Ketchum is public enemy number one for the Navy.